All right, so have you ever wondered if you should get super fired up before a set when you're training? And if so, like, is it before every set or just one set? So if you've wondered that, just stay tuned. I'm gonna give you my opinion on that exact topic. All right, so thanks for joining everybody. Today, um, I wanna talk about something that I think is kind of fun. And admittedly, it's, uh, the answer is probably variable. Everybody's a little different, but the question is like how psyched up should you get before it left? Like how fired up should you get? Should you bang your head against the bar and make your head bleed? Should you yell and scream? Should you be super calm? You know, what is it, you know, what kind of state did you, do you need to be in? And um, really the question is um, a little, again, it's a little different for everybody, but the question, the first question I would ask is, so getting fired up, is there even really a benefit to it? And I think the answer to that would be yes. Um, if you create this frenzied state, uh, your adrenal glands, uh, which sit on your kidneys, will produce adrenaline or epinephrine. And uh, when, you, when this happens, adrenaline will, it, uh, it improves blood flow, it dilates your uh, bronchial tubes, you get more oxygen, you get more blood flow. Uh, things like digestion shuts off, your immune system takes a break, and really you get this increased heart rate and this more oxygen and more blood flow. And does that, but does the question is, does that translate into more strength? And I'm just going to give you my experience. This is not something that I've studied scientifically, but I'm going to just give you my opinion on this. So um, I think that it's very useful to get pretty wound up before a big set. I think what you have to be careful with is how often you do it. Um, and I'll give you an example. So today I was training chest and I was doing incline barbell benches. And generally what I do is I stay very calm, very relaxed, even joke around my training partners between some sets. And I really don't like get myself pumped up. The weight's not really challenging on the way up. so. There's no fear that it's gonna smash me. I'm generally not doing everything to failure. I'm saving that for the end. But when I get to say the last set of an exercise, and in this case today, it was the inclined barbell bench press. Um, it's, a, it's a good weight, and I wanna get as many good reps with it as I can. And today I went up to 315 on the incline. Uh, if you've been following me, you know I've had some shoulder issues that I think are now healed. And I've been adding a little, weight, little bit of weight. I've actually added 10 pounds a week for the last four weeks. So today I was back to my old number, 315. I was so happy and I got really fired up. Now the set before that, I did, um, it was like 295 and I did it for, uh, for six and it was actually kind of tough. I was like, oh man, but I'm gonna get wound up here and see how 315 feels. So I put 315 on there, I got super wound up. And I did five reps, and on all five reps, I actually paused it. I felt super powerful. I could literally just feel myself just, just really driving the weight up hard. My strength was there. Um, so in that case, I think it was beneficial. You're, you're, use, you're getting probably more reps. You're probably using more weight. And at the end of the day, to build muscle, you have to overload it somehow. So whether it be more reps or more weight, those are ways to overload the muscle. I think I performed well. So then the question becomes, what about how often do you do that though? Now, my opinion is before the compound movements I do, I get pretty wound up. So if I'm doing say, let's say I was going to do squats, then the last set of squats I would do, I'd probably get pretty wound up. Uh, let's say I was going to do deadlifts, probably the last set of deadlifts I would do, I'd get pretty, pretty wound up. So, um, and there's a balance here. You gotta be careful. You can get so wound up that your form can suffer and then you can actually hurt yourself. So it has to be like a controlled rage, not out of control where you're throwing the ball around. But here's, what I, here's, here's anecdotally what I noticed with myself. If I do too many sets like that, I don't last as long through the workout. I, I, can't, I can't perform as long, the volume goes down. I just run out of gas. And it makes sense because you're stimulating that fight or flight response um, over and over and over and then you just get tired and then then generally what I do is I get home and I fall asleep I take a nap but uh, for me and this is something I want you guys to try 
and again and let me know what how let me know if how you do this but I like to do the last set of my compound movement get pretty fired up and that's really pretty much it because when I'm initially starting I'm really focused on the muscle and activation and then as I'm working on the pump it's just working through pain it's not trying to set any records it's just work through the pain and then on the last exercise I do I'm typically trying to stretch the muscle pretty hard again that's not something you need to be really fired up for so for me it's usually one set on the workout where I get really really wound up the other sets is a very calm focus laser like focus you know focus on the muscle focus on executing the movement focus on feeling the tension perfect execution so I hope this helps um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you do. Do you get wound up? You bang your head against the bar. Um, but thanks for watching. And if you like this, please share it and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.